Hi again, and remember last time we were looking at our Pathfinder and we were looking at all the different things that we could do there. There are other ways to go about Pathfinder and there are reasons to actually do that. It's using everything in a live way and I'll explain that to you a bit later. Okay, so here we have all our shapes again. I will make sure that they're all turned on, which they are. I'm going to go to Effect, I'm going to go to Pathfinder and I will go Subtract. Hmm, okay, problem. We have a message here. It says Pathfinder effects should usually be applied to groups, layers, or type objects. This may not have any effect on the current selection. Okay, so that will not work. However, the magic thing about that was it said group. So we can go to object and we can go to group. Okay, now it's a group. Let's give that another go. So we go to effect, we go to Pathfinder, and Let's go to subtract. Okay, we can't see anything there. We don't know what's happening there. But what I can say is that if we move things, despite the fact that we did that, we still have the opportunity to do things. Okay, so we've done that. We've moved that around. We need to find out what's going on here. We need to work out whether this has worked. The way that we do that is we're going to go into effects. Now, sometimes effects is in there, but if it is not, Remember, what you need to do is you need to turn on that window. So let's have a look at appearance here. Ah, now we can see what's going on. So the group, it's still a group. Even though we can move things around, it's still a group. So we're going to go to this group and we're going to click on effects. Ah, now we can see that it says it's there. Okay, turn that on. Subtract. Here we have all our different things that we can actually do with our path. So we go add, or we go exclude, or we go trim. Let's go back to divide where we were originally. Okay. Click off. Let's see if it actually worked. No. Why is that? Okay, let's try it again. Now let's go to Object. Ah, we need to expand that appearance before anything happens. It will still be live. So until we go Expand ex Appearance, nothing will happen. So we mucked around with it. We worked out where it was. Let's go to Expand ex Appearance. Let's see what happens. Ah, now she's working. All right. So there's a few steps there, but the thing about it is, as I said, you get options. You can actually do things without having to go backwards and forwards, and it actually saves a lot of steps. So until you actually go Object, Expand Appearance, nothing will actually happen. Okay, And this is a nice little effect for cutouts and things like that. Okay, so that's all very well. We've worked out how to do that. We know how to get into the appearance. We know how to do different bits and pieces. Let's go to text. Okay, so we added some uh, different things to um, our original shapes. Now let's have a look at why it's so great when we get to text. Now, text, we don't need to group. We can just work with it as is because remember when we looked at it last time, it said either the shapes had to be in a group or it had to be text. Well, this is already text. It's already together. What you'll notice about this text is that it's relatively wide apart. I've used a really um, quite a thick text called Aerospold ITC. This text is quite wide apart. It doesn't happen naturally. If you go into character and you move this up and down, you can see that you can actually change that effect. So there we go. Pop there like that. That's fine. Now what we want to do is we want to create an outline around this and we want to make it look really sort of um, almost pop artish or cartoon style. This is what I'm going to do. I've got my appearance box out. Now remember in order to see this you need to make sure you go to window and you need to make sure it's turned on. This is turned on, so click. Now we can see that there is nothing here, nothing much of interest anyway. I'm going to add a, um, a strike. And to that stroke, 
I'm going to make it say three point, but I'm going to change the color, and I'm going to make it blue. Okay, so there is a stroke around this text. Now you might say, well, that's pretty boring. Now I'm making sure that I'm still clicked on that stroke, okay? And then I'm going to go to Effect, and I'm going to go to Path. I'm going to go Offset. Preview to see that wall. Okay, you can see now what I'm talking about with this sort of 1950s style text cartoon pop, if you like. Now we can change that. It's at quite a lot. Let's try two and see what happens with two. I don't mind that. That looks all right. So we'll keep that at two. So you've got to make sure you've got this preview clicked in order to see what you're doing. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Now if I have a look at this, it says that there's no fill there. If we have a look here, let's give it a fill. And I think maybe a light blue would be better than that horrible blue. Okay, now let's go straight back to that stroke. I need to make sure that this is actually turned on for this next bit. So click on stroke. We'll go to Effects, we'll go to our Pathfinder and we'll go to Add. Okay, cool. Now remember, if you don't actually like it, you go back to your Effect Palette and you can try it out. You can see what else is going to happen. So, Exclude. Yes. And Divide. Doesn't really do anything. Trim. Okay, yeah, that's quite interesting. Merge, not too bad. Quite like that too. Crop, nope. Let's go to divide again. Okay, and let's go to add. Yep, that, I think that that looks pretty good. Now, the beauty of this is, we've got all that. The beauty of this is, because it's still live, we can actually do things with it. So remember earlier, I moved the text Let's try it in character again. Ah, we can still do it. So I can still change the look of this text. I mean, that looks terrible, but you can see what's happening here. Okay, I can get it exactly how I want it. Really need that in. Okay. So I still have that ability. I might want to go really crazy here and maybe add another line and it's automatically gone to um, three point text let's make that smaller four three two one let's make it two let's change that color to red see what happens with the red all right Woo! Okay, so as you can see, there are a lot of things that you can actually do. The thing you need to understand is that in order to create those effects, you must be on the stroke, and I'll show you what I mean here. So I'm on the stroke, I go to my effect, I go to my pathfinder, and I start mucking around with these. Okay, so then let's look, because I'm on that, let's see what happens. Preview, add, exclude. Minus back. You see what I mean? You can actually do things, crop, and that looks terrible, add. So we can actually do things with this. Okay. The other thing that we could do is we could move that apart again. So making sure that we're on that stroke. Go to effects, go to path, offset path. Let's go preview. Whoa. Okay. Might make that. One, see what happens. Yuck. Okay. Um, go 0.5. Yeah. So you can see what we're doing here. I mean, that looks terrible, but the thing is, you've got all this ability to do stuff. Let's just keep it on that line. We've got it on straight. Let's see what happens if we go then Pathfinder add. Okay. We've already got that, so let's go there. Let's let's go here to the add. Let's go to subtract. Okay, let's go to exclude. That actually looks a little bit better. 
than what it was before. Um, subtract, uh, divide. Yeah, so you can see here that you can actually do stuff with this. So super cool looking text. We did a few things with it. But what you can see here is that you can actually, just by creating text and then mucking around with, first of all, your, um, your outline or your new stroke, and um, then making sure that you're on the stroke, and then going into that effect pathfinder, you can get some really amazing effects, and it's live. You can still move it around. You can still change it. Okay, I could even change the actual text type here, and I'll show you what I mean. Okay. Control Z. There we go. So have a go at that. I know that's really complicated. Um, you might need to pause this video and you might have to have a go several times in order to get it. Um, but it's something to think about a little bit later on when we get to designing our, um, our little invitation card to people for, for next year's Cloud School. So enjoy and have fun with that. See you.